Hi, I'm Derek Ross with AndroidAuthority.com. We're here at CES. I'm at the Hisense booth, and this is Hisense's new TV with Google TV embedded. You'll see that there's, uh, there's a little bit of difference on the, uh, the background. The home bar down below is, is skinned. It's themed, as well as you can watch. Uh, there's, there's widgets right on the home screen. Um, let me uh, open up the, the tools here such as social search built right in as you can see here so you can be watching live TV and you can also have your Facebook and your Twitter stream right there let me go back here open up the YouTube app As I'm watching YouTube, I want to watch a streaming video on, um, on YouTube. Now I want to bring up social TV. I can just hit the social button on the remote. And once again, view my Twitter stream and Facebook stream. It launches with version 3, so there is voice search capabilities and the new primetime app, the new quick guide as well. And you can start purchasing these TVs sometime in quarter 1 at 32 inches and higher. As you can see by the remote, it looks very similar to the Hisense Pulse remote. Uh, the exact same design, the same teardrop design. The buttons are nearly identical. There are a few new buttons here, such as social, tools, input, and history, as well as DVR. The home button is a little different. The guide button actually is a, is a little different. On the reverse side, it looks nearly the same as the pulse there are a few blue buttons down there indicating home and menu as well as search and back besides that it looks exactly and functions exactly like the Hisense pulse remote the hardware is nearly the exact same as the Hisense pulse coming in at the uh, four gigabytes of storage two gigabytes of ram as well as the marvel chipset this is Derek Ross from AndroidAuthority.com. and to go by to go with that